Welcome to the City of New Bedford's Arts and Culture Show. My name is Lee Heald and I'm the director of a program called AHA, which stands for Arts, History and Architecture. And every second Thursday of the month we offer this wonderful celebration in partnership with all sorts of organizations and spaces downtown to really showcase the best of what New Bedford has to offer each and every month in arts, culture, entertainment and just the creative community. This month's theme is jamming in the streets and so you'll be hearing a lot of music and seeing a lot of the outdoor spaces. It's a wonderful August night downtown and we're here on the steps of New Bedford Whaling National Historical Park to thank them for their support this month in partnership. So they've really helped us put together the programming and you'll be seeing a couple of wonderful things that are new to um, the park this month and this summer. So stay with us, it's going to be a great show, it's a perfect night downtown. Good evening, everybody. I'm Dr. Mike Rocha. This is the South Coast Brass Band. This is the second year that we've been here for uh, AHA Night, uh, jamming in the streets. This is a lot of fun for us because we're able to kind of go out and about like what happened down in New Orleans, but we brought New Orleans to New Bedford tonight. So I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown of who's here in the band with us. So on uh, tenor saxophone, we have Trevor Kellum. On tuba, all the way from Grafton, we've got Paul Chadbourne. On snare drum and percussion, Charlie Collagian. All the way from Fairhaven, Massachusetts, Joe Raposa on trumpet. A sonnet, Massachusetts, Ken Reed on baritone saxophone. And we've got Mish Mueller, who's here tonight on the bass drum.
The event for its own, Dana de Barros, is being hosted at the Ashley Gallery in City Hall, and we're about to go in and meet him and look at a little bit of what he's doing for his current work. This is the Afterlife series, and it's based on near-death experiences. Uh, people that have had uh, near-death experiences report seeing things like I'm showing here, um, but I let my imagination take its own path. I didn't follow anyone's report directly. I just kind of went with it. I, I started with this one right here called First Light and it depicts the tunnel that a lot of people hear about on, you know, from near-death experiences uh, with the light at the end of the tunnel. I decided to put a face in it and this face here uh, the eyes follow you wherever you go. That whole thing was unintentional. And it's another one of those things where I just painted it and then noticed what actually happens when you walk from one side of the room to the next. One of my other favorite uh, paintings in this collection is this one here called The Ascension. And it depicts the moment when uh, a person's soul leaves their body and is guided through this special place. And um, you may see angels flanking both sides of this, this person and it just kind of happened. I, I wasn't sure what I was going to put on the canvas when it happened. And that's, that's the same way with a lot of these things. I just start with strokes that I like and colors that I like and you can see I like blue. We're standing in front of the all-seeing eye. Some of the strokes that went into this painting, I, you know, of course I put them there, but what came out afterward, what other people saw in it, I didn't intend to put in it. And so I find that kind of a thing very intriguing and it happens a lot. For instance, in this one, there seems to be a serpent here and I didn't intend to put it there. And I left it because it is about ready to snap on this hand that's there. But I feel like the center figure in this is in control of the entire universe, that whole space that we call the canvas. So the Ashley Room at City Hall is open, um, what, from 8.30 to 4 when the building is open, is that true? That's correct. And um, people can, can just come in and see your work? Yeah, and sometimes there are meetings here. Um, you know, the City Council obviously meets in City Hall, and so the building does stay open late uh, for those occasions, and meetings in this very room. Um, so anyone that has a meeting in the Ashley Room will get to see it. Right, and there's a little label here, so if people are interested, they can contact you directly. Yes. Good. Thanks. Thank you. Come gather round, young sailors, and listen to me, please. And when you've heard my song, you'll hurry me. For I was sent to reach pool in the port of Liverpool, the first time that I came up from the sea. Paid up at the home from the port of Sierra Leone, and three pounds ten a week it was me pay. With a pocket full of tin, I was very soon taken in by a girl with the name of Maggie May. Oh, Maggie, Maggie May. Sailor, I gave chase. Oh, Maggie, 
And stony broke, no jacket, trousers, waistcoat could I find. When I asked her where they were, she said, My very dear sir, they're down at Kelly's pawn shop number nine. Oh, Maggie, Maggie, Maggie they have taken her away to walk upon Ben Beeman's cruel shore. Oh, she robbed so many sailors and broke so many whalers. Never run down my street anymore. To the pump shop I did go, but no clothes there could I find. And the police came and took that girl away. And the judge he guilty found her, robbing a homeward bound her, and he paid her to get back to Botany Bay. Oh, Maggie, 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 they have taken her away. Walk upon the demon's cruel shore. Oh, you rob so many sailors and dose so many whalers that you'll never run down my street anymore. Coaches, and she is the um, director and the um, owner. Oh, owner and the artistic. Oh my God! <laughs> this whole thing is you. Well, I started it. Now I have an awesome team of people who help me do it. So, so it's overhead arts, and mm -hmm. it's kind of is it circus? Is mm -hmm. it? Yep, it's we. Uh, it's aerial and circus arts. So we do a lot of aerial, as you can see. Right. Um, aerial silks and lira and trapeze and other fun things. Um, and then we also do general circus arts, so things like juggling and partner acrobatics and um, roll a bola, <laughs> like all sorts of fun circus skills. So yeah, so we teach kids and adults and um, and we do performances. And do you, you have summer camp and then do you have like things that go during the winter, like weekend programs? I know that you have a whole range of things. Yes, right now this week we're doing our uh, summer day program. Um, we also have weekly evening and afternoon classes um, throughout the school year and also the summer. Right. Um, and we do other special workshops and we bring in guest instructors no, and yeah, a lot of fun stuff. Nice. And so you, where do you work from? We're based out of Hatch Street Artist Studios, uh, which is right here in New Bedford. North End. North End of New Bedford. And there's a, it's a really cool building, and there's tons of other artists there, so we're really happy to be there. Yeah. So people can come by and see Teresa and her group yeah. at other times or call you for more information. How do yeah. they, is it a website? I do have a website. It's overheadarts.com. And, uh, and we also, you can email me at info at Overhead Arts, and uh, we also have a Facebook page, so you can find us and be in touch with any questions. And all the parents I know whose kids have taken this class love it, so. Oh, yeah, we're good with kids. You got it. <laughs> thank you. We're here with Fitzcarmel Lamar, who is the current artist in residence for New Bedford Whaling National Historical Park. Yes. And each of the artists who um, comes to the park gets to choose a problem or um, choose a project. Yes. And so you've picked a particularly interesting project. You've picked the zombie apocalypse. Yes. <laughs> and um, you've been creating a graphic novel as you've been working this summer. Correct. Correct. And so tonight I heard that you're going to talk more about the cover, about the... Yes. Yes. So about New Deadford. New Deadford. So take it. All right. So uh, this graphic novel is basically based in New Bedford, but it's basically the third time New Bedford will be the richest city in the world uh, during the zombie apocalypse. So I'm using basically members of the community and uh, different entities as far as businesses and such to showcase the rich history of New Bedford. Right. Because most folks probably didn't even know two times before it was the richest city. But survival is number one. That's our number one problem that we're 
actually thriving as we work together. I've never met in such a small city so many different characters, so the idea came up, what could I do to like showcase all of this, what kind of backdrop, and the zombie apocalypse thing just popped in my head. And then I just kind of started running with it, sharing with people here and there. And then uh, the artist in residence opportunity came up and I was like, this is the time to do it. Because I feel like it showcases uh, storytelling, illustration, graphic design, painting, uh, which I'm gonna be getting into doing the cover design pretty soon. These are uh, the main characters here, are people actually from New Bedford right. that uh, via Facebook, I had a bit of a contest, so to say, where you could be one of the dead. Uh, in New Deadford. So what's your product going to look like? Um, it's going to look like a comic book, but a lot thicker, okay. so to say. So it's not going to be like the regular comic books. They're about 22 pages and those take roughly a month, month and a half to produce, uh, depending on the speed of the artist. This will likely take about a year, year and a half or so to finally get together, but I will be releasing chunks of the story for people to enjoy, little previews and things like that. Okay, thanks Fitz. We're going to look forward to seeing the whole thing come out. Absolutely. I'm excited about the whole project and being uh, the artist in residence here, which is great Fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah, that I get to start a project out here in New Bedford about New Bedford. Yeah. So it's, yeah. uh, it's been really great. the very first uh, Philippine Cultural Festival here in New Bedford. Um, the Filipino American Community Incorporated is uh, the local uh, Filipino community organization. Right. Um, we're a nonprofit organization um, dedicated to supporting and promoting Philippine culture, Philippine um, 
the welfare of Filipinos here and in the States. So we're a small group. We've just uh, been a 501c3 for the past three years. So they, they wanted to hold a, a, a cultural festival. Um, we approached the, um, the National Whaling Historical Park. Um, one of our members actually did an art exhibit here um, earlier in the April and uh, we talked to them about possibly doing a cultural festival here. Um, you know, everybody knows there's like New Bedford has all these wonderful festivals, the Portuguese festival, the Madeiran festival, um, the Cape Verdean festival, and the Filipino groups is like, oh, we want to do a festival too. So this is our initial uh, attempt, and we were thrilled that you did an aha night. It's fabulous. Yeah. So you also got funding from the United Way. Tell yes. us a little bit about yes. that. Um, we applied for the United Way's uh, community building mini grants, and we um, received an award, so it, it helped us um, you know, put together this this first, uh, hopefully the first of many first. cultural festivals. So we really wanted to do, uh, if you can give a shout out, yeah. um, I wanted to do a shout out to the Community Foundation and AHA Night for, you know, supporting us in this, and, you know, the Whaling National Park, and of course the United Way um, for, for doing this, uh, the Freetown VFW, where we rehearsed. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, we're really, really pleased with the turnout tonight. Yeah. Um, I mean, you sort of talking about the fact that it takes a whole community to get these festivals right. together. It does. It's, it was a lot of work, but, um, you know, for a small group, you know, doing, this is like our first major event, actually. Nice. So, yeah. So, so we hope to do some more next year. We'll come back next year for Thank AHA. You. Great. Thank it's you good very to see much. One of the great things about having uh, art students in this wonderful artistic town is you end up with your own aha moments. So tonight's aha moment for me is this fun little um, exhibit at the Star Store. It's called the Bubbler Gallery and it's all about water fountains and what we call in Rhode Island, bubblers. The co-creative space on Union Street is one of the newest spaces downtown that's dedicated to co-working and a variety of activities that really um, AHA loves to talk about and cover. Tonight we're going to go in and visit the um, Mobile Farmers Market who are celebrating National Farmers Market Week here in New Bedford with cooking demonstrations and a variety of things. Every August, um, all of the farmers markets across the nation celebrate Farmers Market Week and really it's about, you know, really celebrating local food and why, you know, supporting local food and supporting our local farmers is so important. And so this year we've decided to do, we always try to do a number of activities at each site. This summer we are now in three locations. Um, we are in on Brock Avenue across from St. Mary's Church. Um, that is Tuesdays from 4.30 to 6.30. And then Wednesdays we're at Pachico um, Elementary School from 3.30 to 5.30. And then Saturdays we are right outside of the zoo. So this is, it's like a truck, like a food truck. It's like that. this. <laughs> so what we do is we wholesale from, um, you know, a number of farmers from um, Westport to Rochester. We wholesale from them and then we then sell it out into the community. We're able to... Fresh food, locally grown. Fabulous. Yep. Right now we're um, sticking with produce. 
but just recently we now have honey and we're gonna eventually get to meats and um, eggs but we first needed we were building the infrastructure <laughs> making sure we have enough cooler space yeah. and all that fun stuff nice yeah yes, and that. so we're here tonight as the farmers market after hours so it <laughs> yeah so it gives folks the opportunity who um, were not able to make it to the farmers market today yeah you know we brought kind of our for our, our mobile farm stand here tonight so that you know anyone who is interested in getting their local produce they can do it tonight I hope that you have enjoyed tonight's show and that you enjoyed seeing what's going on in downtown on AHA night. It's really a fun time to come down. I hope that you would come down and have your own AHA moment. It's every second Thursday and we welcome you um, to be with us anytime. The theme for September is hashtag Frederick Douglass lived here and we'll be celebrating um, his anniversary and doing a variety of activities around the cultures, the rich and diverse cultures of New Bedford funded by the New Bedford Local Cultural Council. So join us or um, see us on TV. Thanks. that should always be remembered. Heroes emerge. A woman sets people free. A man makes light. A leader steps forward. People get together. They help each other out. They make their own places to run and play and contemplate the universe. There's pride and gratitude and fun. It belongs to everyone. It can be a place, a feeling, state of mind. So get up, get out there, and find your park.